Oh, what's happening? I'll shut that. It's gonna annoy me. Now, guys, today, today is gonna be my opportunity to address the topic of steroids. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Okay, I claim to be a natural bodybuilder. I'm really, really proud of it. Um, I follow naturals. They are the guys that inspire me because I know that that is what I'm going through myself. I don't have any help from performance enhancing drugs. Now, this video, I don't want to go too long. I don't have any notes. I've got absolutely nothing. Um, I was going to write some notes just, just so I wouldn't ramble too much because I've got a habit of doing that. But today we're just going to try without. Today's question is, what are my opinions on steroids and would I ever take them? So let's start about what my opinions are on steroids. I am not against steroids, okay? I I, I'm not. Probably about a couple of years ago when I was really on that natural bodybuilding bandwagon, um, I was against it. And you know, if I, if I knew about anyone taking them um, that I thought wasn't deserving to take them, um, you know, I got kind of angry and I got, I, you know, hated them for it and shit. Now, I'll let people do whatever they want without saying anything, you know, it's your mistake, it's your body, you have to do the fucking research to, to, to realize what you're putting in your body before you do it, and if you don't, then you're stupid. Now, I just want to talk about my history and why I, I didn't start taking steroids, you know, by now. Um, when I first started going into the gym, I honestly believed that Phil Heath was natural. The only thing that was different between Phil Heath and I was the fact that he had better genetics, he trained a lot longer, and he ate a lot more. That is what I firmly believed. And I think that attitude, that naivety, even though it's, it's bad in a way, it was good for me because it got me through those first couple of years when, you know, gains were slow, I was learning about what to do, I was learning about different exercises, which ones suited my body, learning about nutrition, slowly, and steroids did not come into the mix whatsoever. I, I, looked, around the, I looked around the gym and saw these guys that were bigger than me, and I thought, I had respect for them because I thought, honestly, that the only thing that separated us was the fact that they trained longer and everyone was natural and what the fuck is steroids? I had no idea. In fact, I can remember seeing a top saying eat clean, train hard, which we all know is referring to clean buterol to shred you and trembolone to add muscle mass. Um, I, I thought that that was a fucking spelling mistake. I mean, how naive can you get? That was me up until about three years ago. When I started listening to guys like Rich Piana, who speaks the truth, I started listening to guys like BioS3, who also speaks the truth. And, and you know, I, I started taking in this information and then it all clicked. It all clicked in my head. And you know what, I, I, could, then, I could then sit back three years in with a little bit of a base, a, you know, a good base as far as my body goes, and, and decide with an educated mind do I really want to do this? Is it really worth it? And you know what? Up to this point, it's not worth it. It's really not. But, you know, what I, what I will say is that I'm not counting it out. I'm, I'm not counting it out, guys. <laughs> to go through my whole entire life loving the gym, loving bodybuilding, and not at least experimenting just a tiny bit to see what my body would be capable of with the help of performance enhancing drugs, I think that'll, that'll be cheating myself, you know? I have to do it at some point. The only time I'm ever gonna dabble in that is if I do come to compete again because, you know, truth be told, if you compete as a natural and get yourself down to really shredded levels of body fat, 5%, your natural testosterone level is gonna plummet, man, and you are gonna feel like absolute shit. And the recovery from something like that, to, to, you know, to be down there, to have your testosterone level um, and your libido affected for so long, the recovery is going to be so hard. You don't have any, you don't have any extra testosterone to help yourself get, get, you back, get yourself back online. I think steroids have a place. They have a place in bodybuilding. I think if you're going to be a competitive bodybuilder, if you feel like you're going to try and have this as your career, you're going to try and 
become Mr. Olympia, or at least win the next show you do, I think steroids are a necessity. I really do. I think, obviously, being a natural, I believe that there are some outliers who are natural and look, still look fucking amazing, like Simeon Panda. I think Doug Miller's natural. One of these days, I want to be a fucking respected natural athlete. And, you know, I think we're on the fucking, we're on the way, way to getting there. I really do. I feel positive about things. I feel, I feel good about where I'm at. <laughs> Once again, I've rambled too much. What was the question again? I can't even remember. What are my opinions on steroids and would I ever use them? Well, my opinions on steroids is they have a place. I just want to put a message out there to guys that are getting into the gym. Um, you know, they're impatient. They see these guys on Instagram and YouTube and um, they want to look like that in six months or even less. And I, I just have to say, it's impossible. You can't do it. All right. And if you fucking try and take steroids within the first six months of training, your body is going to look like shit. Okay. You need to get a good solid base. You need to start training with the big compound lifts, your squat, your bench press, your deadlift, your overhead press, you know, you can do an arms day. All right. But honestly, in that first year or even two years, you want to stick to those big compound lifts. You want to put on the mass and you will put on mass like you can do it. It doesn't matter whether you're at the start or whether you're five years in, you can still put on weight. There's no, there's no limit to natural bodybuilding. But when it comes down to getting shredded for a show, I think, I think you need a little bit of help. I honestly do. Um, that's just my opinion. Obviously people can go through it. You know, some people's libido and natural levels won't get affected when they get that lean, but they're probably genetically that lean. All right. Someone like me, if I was going to get to 5% body fat naturally, um, man, I hate to think how, you know, how hard it would be to get, get an erection. Honestly, um, it'd probably be near impossible. And I'd be looking at myself thinking, fuck, is this worth it? Is it really worth it? I don't know. Natural bodybuilding. I love natural bodybuilding. You know, I fucking love it, but you know, there comes a point when it, it just gets too far. You get too lean and, and you start losing too much muscle and, and that's when you probably consider going on steroids. But so my opinion on steroids, sorry, sorry, sorry. My opinion on steroids is there's definitely a time and a place. If you want to become a bodybuilder or a pro bodybuilder, I'd say yes, of course, do it safely, of course. But God, if, you, if you're just wanting to take steroids to get a beach body to go in, on holiday in the next six weeks, if you're shredding for stereos, um, I, you know, I'd, I'd have to say that's, that's not, that's not the answer, man. It's, it's not the answer. And the other thing is, you know, women in general will prefer a, a, a lean athletic looking physique than a big bulky muscular uh, bodybuilders physique it's just the way it is and so you really got to weigh up your options you know if you if you're in the first five years of training don't go anywhere near steroids if you're below 22 years of age don't go anywhere near steroids and if you haven't built a good base if you haven't researched and done all the fucking reading you need to do because there's a hell of a lot of reading you can't you, you don't just go and take testosterone and that's it, okay? That's the that's the trouble. You fucking you'll meet someone someone at the gym will say, take this, take this trend, take this fucking decker, take this um, testosterone, but they won't worry about a PCT. And so you take this the, the steroids, they jack up your testosterone level. I don't know how many times the natural the natural level, and then once you once you come off, it's going to drop way back down. What's going to bring it back up? other drugs. So you're not only taking the anabolic steroids, you're also taking a PCT cycle, which is more drugs. And then your next cycle, what are you going to do? Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop there. You guys know my opinions. I was one of the lucky ones, guys. I started training before the whole Instagram, YouTube thing. I wasn't influenced by that. I didn't have to get to that stage, you know, in six months. I felt like I wanted to enjoy the journey and, and that's what I've been doing and that's what I would encourage everyone to do. I'd say go natural for as long as long as possible, as long as you can. And there's no reason why you can't continue making gains. If your nutrition's on point, if you keep your training consistent, you're gonna continue making gains guys. Especially if you're twenty five or under. 
our fucking natural testosterone level is as high as it's ever going to be. Why would you want to go fuck it up with, uh, with, <laughs> with uh, steroids? Why would you want to do that? It's ridiculous. You may never get that level back. Okay? Without taking drugs. It's dangerous business. But it's part of bodybuilding. And it's the only reason why we have Mr. Olympia looking like Mr. Olympia. So, at the end of the day, you know, do your research, make up your own mind. The second part of the question, would I, have I considered doing steroids? Would I do steroids? Um, at the moment, no. Like I said, I've just done a bulk. I've put on a considerable amount of weight and now it's time to shred down and, and see what sort of gains I've made naturally. And um, that's what we're doing at the moment. So I'm actually four days into a cut. Uh, probably dropped about two kilos already. You guys know how it is. The water weight goes, you drop your carbs, you're going to drop a bit of water weight. I'm sitting at about 102 or 103 kgs right now, and um, we'll see where I get to. So, if you've enjoyed this video, give this video the thumbs up, and maybe go check out a few of my other videos. Um, I've been doing this shit for a while, I'm trying to grow it. This has been my opinion on steroids. <laughs> Is it worth it? what my opinions are, like I said, and whether I'd do them. I would do them if I felt the need to help me in a competition. As far as everyday life, going to the beach, looking good for my girlfriend, etc. There's no way. You know, too many steroids can lead to impotence. Too many steroids can lead to uh, erection problems. How much, of an opposite, how much of a fucked up thing is that? You go to the gym, you take all these steroids to look amazing for the opposite sex, and then you can't even use your dick. Oh my god, like, that's, the fucking, that's the biggest joke in the fucking world. Stay natural, guys, honestly. Stay natural.